Oh, hi. This week, I'm still alive. Talking hurts after a little while. I do have kind of a art project to share and I figured out so many things to make this project happen, including a screen recorded time lapse of some digital art that I did. And I'm able to share the whole process with you. So when I started regularly sewing, I don't even know how many years ago this was, and it didn't used to be as consistent as it has since I started this channel, which is part of the reason for starting this channel is I make a thing every week with gaps such as the past couple weeks. As a maker of garments, I've always envied people that could do fashion sketches, and like have little notebooks with swatches. And the more therapy I do, the more I grow as a person, the more I realize a lot of things I'm just not letting myself do. Something I'm actually very self-conscious about is my drawing ability. Not self-conscious, I just know it's not a skill I have built and that will be evident with what I'm about to show you because I started trying to at least get the ideas down in one of the many journals that I have hoarded throughout my life. This is a super fancy one. It has these little toggles on the front and then when you open it, it's this really beautiful thicker paper that looks recycled, like it's got pips in it. Pips must mean it's all natural, right? So I told myself, I'm going to use this notebook. Let's find a thing to use it for. Now's the time to do fashion sketches. This is helpful, making notes of the pattern I wanted to use and which fabric, like you probably can't tell what fabric I was thinking of when I drew this, but I know what this is regarding to. Even after I made it, I added some little notes here. So if I flip through and go back and like, I feel like making something, but I'm not sure what. How did this go last time? Were there tweaks? Did I not like the actual pattern? Do I want to Frankenstein some together? That type of stuff. I'm not super jacked about these sketches. It's more to like remind me of things I've done or have more than just like a sticky note pinned to a cork board for ideas. It's a little bit more fleshed out, but I take no pride in these drawings. And a great example of why it's frustrating. I don't know if you remember, me working on this dress. The original pattern was for a romper and I wanted to do some color blocking. So this is what that ended up turning into. I still have to add pockets. It's hanging right behind the camera, but the fit is still like very clunky. I want to do more work on it, but I'm not sure what I want that to look like. Which brings me to wanting to try some digital art. I was extremely spoiled for my birthday, which feels like it was a lifetime ago. It was only the 21st of last month, but we're coming up on the 21st of April now. So it kind of has been an eternity and I have been through a very specific hell in that interim. But during that time, I have had a replacement for my very close to death laptop that is over 10 years old. And this new one that I cannot believe is something that I get to use is a touch screen and you can even fold it in half and use it as a tablet. And I used to have a separate tablet surface that plugged in via USB, but you were never looking at the thing you were drawing on. So like you'd be looking at the screen, but drawing down on your lap or whatever. And I just never got the hang of it. I don't have very good hand-eye coordination. <laughs> so using a stylus to draw on the actual surface was such a big game changer. And I know there's potential for stuff I haven't even thought of yet. And something that occurred to me while I was couch ridden for 19 days, I, could, I couldn't even sleep in my bed. That's the one place you're supposed to be able to be non-functional, but I couldn't even like lay down all the way. I had to keep myself either upright or at an angle. If you want me to do a video on tonsillectomy recovery for me and how it's been, I can do that once I have fully recovered. The hardest part is over, thank goodness, because that lasted for so fucking long. I still have a ways to go. I'll get there. It'll be worth it in the end. Obviously wasn't working in my studio, so it was nice having this computer to like noodle around with and actually taking time to learn the illustration programs that came with that Wacom Wacom. When I bought that tablet, it was on sale for $40 and it came with three different softwares. One was just illustration, one was illustration and animation, and one is like a photo editing program. I know nothing about photo editing. I know to like up the brightness and I often take the warmth out of my thumbnails, but that's, that's about it. I mostly just try to up the exposure depending on the setting when I take the photo in the first place. I will say these are all Corel brand softwares and their customer service is basically non-existent, almost as bad as Etsy's. Maybe we'll talk about that at the end. So the past couple of weeks being what they were, I was able to noodle around with stuff and kind of learn the programs. And I realized you could import images and draw over them. So I thought, huh, I would love 
to get some fashion sketch templates. I think they're called croquis. And every bit of Googling that I did, those look nothing like my body. It was getting very frustrating because one of the issues with this version of things is the permanence of it. You can't redo anything. I can't really tell where the waist would be hitting on me. If I do color blocking, where do I wanna break up the bits? What shape skirt might look best? how to swatch out different colors and decide, oh, do I want sleeves on this or no? And really work through the actual active design process. In addition to the canvas on the tablet being changeable and tweakable and all of these things, I also had the epiphany. I can take a picture of what I look like and like trace my body so that I have an accurate me shaped, me proportioned set of templates to work off of. And I'm gonna insert a time lapse of me going from the actual photo to having a fully realized sketch at the end and the little page I'm gonna make in here. I'm gonna show the entire thing, including the couple of times I didn't understand the layer setup, did a color fill and it covered the whole screen instead of just the little section I was trying to color in. I'm new to illustrating programs and also I'm bad at remembering things in the throes of a project, you know? So you'll see how I got from A to B, but to show you a comparison side by side, in this notebook and I can show you what I've always envisioned and been envious of other people having and didn't let myself have until I, f I finally did. And I took the time to figure it out. Any more stuff to put on here? I kind of want to dive into like bullet journal territory without doing the actual journaling part, but the way people decorate and really flesh out the pages, I enjoy that very much. And it's not like I'm doing one of these every day. So if you have ideas or recommendations on what I could be adding in here, let me know. But this is a sneak peek as to what next week's video is gonna be. I put so much work into this thing. I'm so proud of it. And I don't say that enough about the things that I make, but this is like, leveled up workmanship from even a year ago, but enough tooting my own horn. This is what I used to do. This is what this sketch would have looked like. This is what I'm working with now and what ended up helping me create the full on garment. Like I didn't know what color skirt I wanted. I don't know if you can see, but there used to be red underneath and I figured out another way to handle side by side comparisons instead of just coloring over it. And this was before I realized I needed multiple views of myself. I just happened to have a photo from like a camera test when I first got my backdrop of me standing fairly straight, fairly face on in fitted clothes because I was gonna take a bunch of garment product photos for my Etsy shop. Yeah, I was even able to scribble little notes on the tablet, including technique stuff, not just the idea, but like, oh, next time you wanna do this thing, here's the math you have to do. Cause I wasn't sure how to measure out a placket on something that was normally like cut on fold or had a zipper, just swapping out the closure. Yeah, I even added some fabric swatches. These are the tester pieces I used. Again, a little, a little sneaky peek into the thing that I made. It was in like 20 minute chunks here and there the days I started to feel a little bit better, but that's for next week when I can talk more in detail. Also, uh, of course I'm rambling more than I meant to, but to show you some of the other ideas I have, I haven't made these yet, but I was able to figure out color blocking. I was initially gonna introduce a third fabric to this, having, you know, black cuffs or a black band at the bottom. I get to test stuff out more and kind of seeing where it's gonna fit. Like, oh yes, don't forget this shape cardigan, this shape neckline on a cardigan, makes you feel a little Mr. Rogersy, which is not a bad thing, but just a thing to be aware of. And I didn't know what to call this fabric other than the TV static one. And I suppose adding swatches to things like this would have been helpful, but I also did these like the week I was making the thing where I don't know when I'm gonna make these, but now I won't forget what my idea was when I got the fabric in the first place. All right, I have a couple little wrap up things at the end of the time lapse. I will see you on the other side. Roll that beautiful bean footage.
hope some of you think this is as neat as I did. It never occurred to me before to use my own body to represent my body. I'm just so excited to have these tools available to me. And listen, if I put the time and effort into learning how to draw stuff out, I'm sure it wouldn't be that much work to draw these lines on regular paper and go the cheaper route with everything, but because I am incredibly fucking spoiled and have very fancy to me technology available, it's just opened up a whole new world for me. So thankful for the opportunities I get now. And talk about being spoiled. I was told by my doctor at my post-op a couple days ago that I was not to go back to work this week. And like I said, I could work on a sewing project in little bursts, but sitting and working on the computer and like getting up and doing some tidying and stuff is really all I can handle because I guess I'm still at the part of the healing process where I'm like a tonsil hemorrhage risk. Like there's a bleed risk up until a certain point of the recovery. The one thing I will say, if you have issues with your tonsils and this is something you've been like toying with the idea of, just do it to get it over with. I wish I had done it when it first occurred to me and I realized it was my tonsils that were causing so many chronic issues. That was eight years ago. That was 2014. I started getting tonsil stones especially and then realized other things I dealt with was tonsillitis. It didn't feel like an option then and obviously I understand there's complications with it such as I, I was initially told, this is my one frustration, I was initially told I'd be out of work for one week. I am on my third week without work. And of course, it finally being to a point, I feel like I can do bits of sewing here and there. I was gonna try to hammer out some Etsy inventory, but Etsy is on strike this week. So I have been working on my own separate website to like move away from Etsy because a bunch of you in my bitching about Etsy video a couple of weeks ago, months ago, years ago, gave me a ton of super helpful suggestions. I appreciate all the guidance and input and it feels possible. And it's, it's because of all of you. I feel like this is a good option because the last Etsy launch I've done and almost every other one I've done, it's been y'all that have bought the stuff. And that is the most fucking incredible thing ever where I get sales here and there on Etsy that are clearly like from people searching things on there and maybe I'll keep a couple items listed but so many things I make are one-offs that's not possible to have it in multiple places but things I make multiples of like my jewelry and like the little birdie bot pins stuff like that there's a quantity of them so I can put stuff like that in both shops just so like people can still find me on Etsy but would prefer them to go elsewhere. That can also be a whole different video. I just, the timing of all of this also stressed me out so much because even though I'm not gonna get a bag launch prepared for the day this video comes out like I had initially planned to, I also am not making the normal sales that I make on my Etsy because of the strike. So I hope it does something. It'll almost be over by the time you're seeing this anyway. All of these points being made to say it is literally because of everyone over on Patreon that I have been able to get this surgery done, take this time off work, especially it being such an extended stretch of time. Like there is absolutely no way I would have kept my job at previous workplaces if this happened there. I just would have been let go even after 10 years working a place, I would have been let go without question. Thankfully, the part-time jobs that I have outside of all of this that we get to do are A, only part-time, so they're less dependent on me, and B, just the best bosses I've ever had are these jobs. And I know not every boss is as understanding as these folks, so I, again, incredibly spoiled. I get to survive all this financially because of y'all. And I feel like phrasing the importance of it is like putting a lot of weight on you. And I, I just wanna express the level of my gratitude for this. However long I get to do this, being a small business owner, juggling all these things that I do here, I don't want to take any of that for granted, so. All right, great. Well, let's say the tears are from my throat hurting and I need to stop talking. If you stuck around during this video or just during this time I've had to take off, thank you. I appreciate your time and you being here and I think y'all are rad as hell. I will 95% sure see you back here with another video. I'm so proud of the project in it. That'll probably be next Friday. Thank you so much for hanging out. Because you've watched to the end, you get to see the very worst of the sketches I did before I switched to my new process. I hate them so much, y'all. I'm so glad I have graduated from this. <laughs>